Kurdish forces in Iraq have stepped up their offensive against Islamic State in the town of Sinjar as they try to take back territories occupied by jihadists in recent months. The local Yazidi minority has borne the brunt of Islamist rule, with hundreds of civilians executed or sold into slavery. A team from RT joined troops as they attempted to retake the town street by street. Here's their latest report. Devastation still reigns in this area of the Sinjar Mountains in northern Iraq after Islamic State militants wreaked havoc here. It's now patrolled by Kurdish forces assisted by the militias of the local Yazidi minority. Sporadic battles still erupt in the area. We are Sinjar's self-defense forces and together with Kurdish troops we are still putting up a fight. We lost several men yesterday and there is still intense fighting going on inside Sinjar even now. We've been standing our ground for five months. We will fight to the last man to win back our land and to free our families, our mothers and sisters from the hands of ISIS. The extremists still hold the town of Sinjar, with many people trapped in the hands of the militants known for their brutality. We haven't liberated all of Sinjar yet. There's the upper market and the lower market in the city. We've retaken the upper market, but nine Yazidi villages are still under ISIS control. The Islamic State group has issued a decree stating that any man killed by a woman would go to hell, prompting many Kurdish and Yazidi women to take up arms against the militants. I joined the militia to fight against those who want our land and our honor, those who have captured our villages and displaced our families. I am here to attest that Yazidi girls and women show no weakness. Those men have committed horrible crimes. That is why me and other female fighters kill them and let them end up in hell. Women aged between 18 and 35 are said to make up no less than 30 percent of all Kurdish forces that have defended local villages against the Islamic State onslaught since August last year. And all militia men and women here say they will not give up their fight. RT's crew from the foothills of Mount Sinjar, Iraq.